In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Catherine of Alexandria. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my, my fault, fault, through, through my, my fault, fault through, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave St. Catherine of Alexandria to your people as a virgin and an invincible martyr, grant that through her intercession may we be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, Look, and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand, who had his name and his father's name written on their forehead. I heard a sound from heaven, like the sound of rushing water or a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpies playing their harps. They were singing what seemed to be a new hymn before the throne, before the poor living creatures and the elders. No one could learn this hymn except the hundred and forty-four thousand who had been ransomed from the earth. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever He goes. They have been ransomed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb. On their lips, no deceit has been found. They are unblemished. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness the world and those who dwell in it, for he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God, his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Please all stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the tre treasury, and he noticed a poor widow putting in small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest, for those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth, but she from her poverty has offered her has offered her whole livelihood the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ please be seated magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat mga kapatid magandang hapon po padre the usual interpretation in our gospel today is that the widow is displaying generosity Para bang itong balong ito ay nagbibigay ng halimbawa ng pagiging mapagbigay. Pero tingnan natin yung ibang angulo hinggil sa um, ating ibanghelyo ngayong araw. Siya ay naglagay ng dalawang kusing, no? two coins, sa treasury ng temple. Alam po ninyo, ang temple is not only the center of worship during that time. The temple is, was also considered as a center of finance. Marami pong mga hudyo, marami mga pilgrims who were in abroad during that time na nagtutungo sa templo to pay for their yearly tax. Okay? Isa yan sa mga um, kaugalian ng mga hudyo. Sila nagtutungo sa templo para magbigay o magbayad ng kanilang buwis. And this poor widow, pwede nating masabi that she was a victim. No? Biktima ito ng isang kaugalian na dapat kang maglagay, maghulog, kahit ikaw ay walang-wala na. That is why in the church, brothers and sisters, wala tayong amount Dapat 10%. No, wala tayong ganyan. Kung ano yung gusto mong ibigay, okay. Kung wala kang maibigay, okay lang din. Wala tayong dapat merong ganitong amount na ibibigay. Hindi. Kung ano ang gusto, iyon ang ibigay. Kung walang maibigay, ayos lang po. Hindi po yung problema sa simbahan. Especially sa ating simbahang katoliko. Pinasasalamatan namin ang inyong kagandahang loob na uunawaan namin kung wala kayong maihulog. Hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon, uubligahin natin ang ating sarili na maglagay. Masaya na po kami na nandyan kayo nakikipag-participate in our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Kung ano man ang maibigay, maraming salamat po. Para bang itong ebanghelyong ito, pinapakita sa atin na dapat tayong magbigay. But the reality is that this poor widow ay isang biktima ng uh, sabihin natin, pagpumilit na maglagay, na magbigay, kahit siya ay walang-wala na. Kaya sabi ng ating Panginoon, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others who have, for those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth. Pwede bang yung dalawang kusing ay itago mo na at kung meron ka, edi magbigay. Kung wala naman, wag mo nang pilitin. Wag po natin ilagay sa ating isipan na tuwing sisimba tayo, Kailangan maghulog. Hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon, yun yung ating paiiralin. Kung ano man po yung inyong bukal sa inyong kalooban, ay yun ay aming pinasasalamatan. Iyon yung ating maging paalala sa ating lahat. Lalong-lalo na kapag tayo minsan, no? Mapagmata. 
Para ba? Kapag yung medyo maliit yung hinulog nung kakilala mo, medyo lalaitin mo lang konti. Para bang susumbatan mo? Hindi. Hindi dapat gano'n ang ating pag-uugali. Kung ano man ang, inyo, kung ano man ang meron sa inyo. At huwag ho kayong mahiyang ilagay kung ano talaga yung inyong kakayanang ilagay. Kung ano yung, kaka, kung ano yung inyong kakayanang ibigay. Yun ay taos puso naming pinasasalamatan. Dahil, tama, no? Obligasyon nating tumulong. Obligasyon natin magbigay. Pero hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon. Iyon yung ating magiging pananaw. Iyon yung ating magiging pag-iisip. Hindi. Mali din ho iyon. Dapat alamin natin kung anong estado ng bawat isa. Malaman natin na kung ano yung kakayana ng bawat isa. Tumutulong tayo ng bukal sa ating kalooban. Hindi pwedeng maging pananaw natin na give until it hurts. Hindi rin naman po pwede iyon. Dahil meron tayong mas dapat unahin. Meron dapat tayong mas dapat pagkagastusan. Alam natin yung pag natin ay makatutulong pero unawain din natin yung sitwasyon ng iba na talagang walang wala. Kaya mga kapatid, itong ibanghilyong ito, maging paalaala sa atin na ibigay natin yung sa tingin natin ay kaya natin at bukal sa ating kalooban. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Please all stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Catherine of Alexandria Win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness. Through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, We worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim.
Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. And gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Second collection, which will be done, is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of Saint Father Pio, and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priests of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering.
please all stand. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on blessed Catherine of Alexandria a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Pietro Alcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, we too our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede. Bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit, and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansan dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, bilang pagtugon sa patuloy na pagdami ng mga bumibisita sa Pambansan Dambana. Simula po ngayong Disyembre, magkakaroon tayo ng karagdagang misa mula lunes hanggang Sabado. Ang mga bagong oras ng misa ay makikita nyo po sa ating screen. Gayon din, minanais po nating limitahan ang bilang ng live stream ng mga misa at magdagdag ng karagdagang live stream para sa Angelus at Rosary tuwing ikalabindalwa ng tanghali at Divine Mercy Chaplet tuwing ikatlo ng hapon. Mangyaring magabayan po kayo ng mga pagbabago ng ating schedule at experimentum simula sa Disyembre. Ikatlo, halina't makiisa sa isang gabi ng pagbibigayan, himig at pag-asa. Inaanyayahin namin kayong lahat na dumalo at suportahan ang ating dinner concert for a cause sa December 10 dito sa Divine Mercy Sanctuary ng Pambansan Dambana. Sa halagang 2,500 pesos na tiket, mararanasan nyo na ang isang dinner buffet at full concert mula kina Mito Yunting and the Driver's Band. Kasama iba pang natatanging mga aawit at kaparian ng Arsidiosesis ng Lipa. Huwag na magdalawang isip pa, bilhin na ang inyong tiket sa ating opisina at maging bahagi nitong natatanging okasyon para sa iisang misyon. Ikaapat, bahagi pa rin ang ating fundraising project para sa isang espesyal na pagdiriwang sa darating na Enero, patuloy nyo pong suportahan ng ating kapiyong merchandise. May mga available po tayong t-shirts at coffee mug sa mga store outlets ng Pambansan Dambana. Sa maliit na halaga, siguradong kayo makakatulong na. Ikalima, pansamantala pong hindi muna makadaraan sa main arc entrance sa mga tao at sasakyan dahil sa ginagawang rehabilitation ng NSPP Bridge. Mari pong gamitin ang lupang gate upang makapasok sa loob ng pambansan dambana. Umaasa po kami sa inyong pangunawa. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas na religious articles. O Lord, our God, you are the source of all blessings and grace. Pour out your blessing on these instruments of prayer that reminds us of your goodness, holiness, and love to us. 
so that all who came and prayed through them may receive your mercy and grace. Through them help the faithful imitate the holiness and teaching of the Lord and the saints forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thanks to the Lord. 